Well, Under the Sea was the most complicated production number we've ever done. Well, this is the most challenging film I know we've ever done. I mean, I don't think we could have done this film if we hadn't done all the movies up to this point. Um, because, uh, you know, listen, when they said you're gonna do an underwater musical, we thought, well, how do we do that? <laughs> how do you do that? How do you begin? Um, uh, because everything is, listen, we were in a blue screen stage. There were literally n no sets. Um, pieces and things like that, but and, and a few props that were used, but everything had to be added digitally. But we had this incredible group of people and we prepped like crazy. We spent years prepping for this film. We started with storyboards, we went moved directly into um, animatics and then pre-visualization so we could almost create like a little mini movie where we would have where the actor would be in, in, the, in space, in the water, and how we would have the camera moving. and then that was translated to our camera team and also our, um, our of, of, of course, our stunt team so they would know where to move every, everyone. So it was, it, it was, it was daunting. And I we mean, all had to learn. We all had to teach ourselves and, and collaborate mm -hmm. and to try to find, and we'd have these methodology meetings. We yes. all, we kept getting together in groups trying yes. to figure How out. How do we do it? And, but I can say one, I have two words that got us through, and it's Rob Marshall. Oh, John. I mean, no, seriously, it, without that patience. I mean, I always thought I was patient, but, no. <laughs> but that patience and that kind of being able to feed, it has to feed through one voice in the end of the day, and it can't look technical as we knew. We could yeah. never. So you just, it, it is such a balancing act between all these different factions, and without that vision, and thank God you're some musical, though, because it not only in terms of that it is a musical, but the way that the stunt people had to move and, 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 and flow and the actors, it, it, the whole thing was a musical ex exercise. Yeah, you're absolutely right, John. I mean, it was definitely all had to be choreographed in advance. That was the, that was the most important thing. Otherwise, we wouldn't know how to even begin. Mm. Yeah. Well, Under the Sea was the most complicated production number we've ever done um, because there's one live actor and everything else is digital <laughs> created. And so we, we, once again, we thought, how do we begin? And I remember thinking about Fantasia. I, I thought of Walt Disney and I, I remembered when he did Fantasia, the Nutcracker Suite se sequence, um, was he used the Ballet Russe as a template, those their bodies, to help him create the dancing flowers or the snowflakes or the mushrooms or whatever. And so I thought we should work with a company. And so we brought the Alvin Ailey company over uh, to London to work with them to create this musical number on. And we asked them to actually replicate these different sea creatures and how they moved. And so that, the, so that our CGI artists would have a chance to have a body to work from and to and and to mold from, and it was uh, it was it was insanity in a way. But uh, but I will say, at the end of the day, having that company, that beautiful company, um, there with us and 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 being able to work, you know, uh, with with actual dancers and use them was was really was was really the key. I think that was the key uh, to getting into this and figuring it out. They did enliven the whole process. Yeah. When they arrived, it was it was just it was a real injection of it, spirit and exactly. just what we wanted well, to create. You have to start with something you can actually control. So we thought you have to at least start with something that's that's tangible, like a dancer. And because we're both choreographers and dancers ourselves, um, back in the day, um, <laughs> we um, we we really needed to physicalize it and understand how we were going to do it. And so then we worked with that plus pre-visualization pre plus um, storyboards and all of that to mold this massive production number. And they're all they're all real fish. All, all the fish yes. in the yeah, movie they're are all, actual, They're all real sea creatures. Yeah. And, we, and when we were de debating and deciding which ones to use, we looked for ones that lent themselves to dance. 
yeah. like those beautiful feather starfish that just look like they almost uh, you a know costume. they almost yeah. look like they're in a carnival in, yeah, you know yeah. kind of thing and or or even like just uh, John like the even the, just the sea turtles or you know or the slugs the, or the little lim- <laughs> the limpets yeah they yeah, they had yeah. these little hats on that we thought well but so we were looking for actual creatures that we thought we could actually choreograph on and and give us a sort of a whole array of everything that's under the sea 